Venom cast. My name is Venom, and I'm here to do casting. To do. <laughs> oh wow, that sounds so much like him. You sound yeah, that exactly. You that was spot on. Tom Hardy's fucking hot. Welcome to. <laughs> Yeah, hi, everybody. Welcome back to Bonus Stage. That's a great way to start it. Uh, I just saw Venom, so Venom is very much stuck in my head. Yeah, he is fucking hot. There's no denying that. He, he has, like, these thick lips. I'm just mm. like, oh, my God. He does look, like, a little bit like an upside-down triangle at some point, so. Lips perfect what, in the movie? for eating. Not specifically Venom 2. Just, I don't know when I think of lips him. Lips perfect always... for eating, Darren? What's he eating? Because it's people. Venom. He eats people. Because he's Venom. Yeah. No, we're not talking about Venom. We're talking about Tom Hardy. As Venom. No. I don't know. Army Hammer was a cannibal. Maybe Tom Hardy's a cannibal too. Oh my what? God. That was the perfect opportunity for you to turn it into something sexual and nice. And you fucking went with cannibalism. <laughs> 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 that's kind of life for us welcome back to bonus stage where we are here to talk about dumb shit i'm your host matt i'm joined as always by my wonderful co-host darren <laughs> what was yes that? and my lovely co-host destiny hi guys Hey. hey. On this week's show, we're going to be arguing about fast food. But before we get into that, let's have a little let's have a little talk. Let's have a little uh, t- t- chat. I'm not going to use chat to doodle again because I used that last week and everybody got mat at me. So no, uh, not mad at you for chat doodle. Assemble, it was weird. assemble even tw- tweeted out about chat doodle. So I mean, that's a that's a hit. That's a bona fide did he? hit. Yeah, he did uh, oh after God. watching the episode. So yeah, yeah, feel that. I'm so one. glad that he watched it. Yeah, he liked it. He had fun, who, apparently. Who, who was who was on the last oh. episode? Floorhugger. Yeah, guys, I'm sorry. I don't. We we we're so busy now. Yeah, <laughs> we talked to so many Hair people flip. and you're doing so much stuff. Like I forget, Floorhugger. Just know that I always hold you in my heart, and I didn't <laughs> forget about you. I just. Forgot, forgot about, about the, the order show. of things. The, the order yeah, of the of show. Like, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 I, well, to be fair, I forgot when Aaron was on too. Was yeah, he I know even you on? Did. He was on. Who even knows anymore? Wow. And you're the one that was like, Aaron, we're best friends now. And you forgot about him. Well, look at that. <laughs> wow. Darren. Okay. Darren. Darren, what's going on? What's up? What's new? What's up? I had an eye appointment today. I went to the. Why do you talk so slow at the beginning? Like it's like it's hard for you to get the words out. You're like I had. I feel like an it's eye it's his it's his theater voice coming out. Is that your thing? Out. Is that your thing? Like that's Darren's thing. I don't know. It might be. <laughs> it might be my thing. It might not be. Guys, I he's mean, so confident when he's not like when we're not recording. He's so much more confident. I don't know why he plays this. <laughs> Be confident, Darren. I am confident. I'm just subdued. I let me tell no, my. No, everybody thinks story. we're picking on you. Well, you are oh, always okay. picking on me. No, but you deserve <laughs> it. Go ahead. I, I agree. I agree. I deserve it. So, um, I went to the optometrist today to get an eye appointment. Mm-hmm. All right, and to get mm-hmm. one. You didn't make one before you went? You went to get an appointment? You went there and said, oh, I would no. like an appointment, yeah, please, you're right. and left? I had an appointment. I had an appointment all okay. previously, and then I went <laughs> to to execute that appointment. Uh, right. You killed the optometrist? Prejudice. Yes. No, it has it has another meaning, Dan. Um, well, I don't know what I was about to call you. Daniel. I don't know why, because I, <laughs> I haven't talked to anybody named Daniel. That's weird. My brother's name is Daniel. Maybe he's talk talking him? about me. Maybe he's thinking about me. Tell Daniel I miss him. Go ahead. Daniel! Destiny, no, no, wait now, no, wait now, wait now! <laughs> I told him. And so anyways, Darren, not the optometrist. I... Oh my god! Come on! I... <laughs> it's like four minutes in? Tell the story! I, I went... Get to the piss! <laughs> Get to the piss! <laughs> I I uh, got some dye in my eye. They turned my eye How'd yellow. How'd you get dye in your eye? My oh, optometrist to check turned your, okay. my eye yellow to check for eye okay. damage because Did I you scratched my eye? eye when I was playing Final <gasps> Fantasy. Yeah, remember when he impaled himself? And yeah, but I thought like it healed. That was a while oh, ago. It did. did. Oh. The eye. It did heal. The dye revealed that it healed. 
That's the All right, Destiny, what's going on with you? This is the dumbest story. <laughs> Jeez, man. Okay, so um, I've still been watching Bob's Burgers. I have mm-hmm. been um, very hungry. My new toxic trait. I'm sorry, I actually I'm remember that there's more it. of this opt- optometrist story. Okay, but are you going to say it in a normal pace? Because like we're five minutes in, it's only fucking a thirty-minute show. Yeah. Uh, so when I went, and after I, I got okay. the dye, I realized that I didn't bring my reading glasses with me, and so I couldn't get my prescription filled out. Um, and you so you have reading glasses. I have reading glasses. You have they're reading right glasses. They're right here. They're not like normal glasses. glasses. No, they're reading. Yeah, but glasses. are they only for reading? They're only. for Oh my reading. god, you're such an old man. <laughs> and um, Darren, you look good in those me- glasses. He, he does like look nice. Wait, bit. Put, put him, put wait, put him, put him back on. Hold on, put him back on. I put him on. I put him back on. Hello. Oh my God, Darren! I literally think you would get so much punani if you wore your glasses. I'm so happy you said punani because in my head I said punani and then you said punani. <laughs> oh my God, like, we're like in sync. The problem is if I wear these glasses, back, the back, you take back. Oh, all right, there because it hurts my vision oh. to look far distance with okay. them. They're reading glasses. Okay, all right, okay. A- any- anyways, down. there's actually we're gonna get you no- some fake ones. Fake ones. Okay. There's actually no. Would you wear them if I got you story. some? Uh, no. You wouldn't wear them. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird to wear fake glasses. Darren, they make you... No, it's not. People do it all the time for style. That's weird. Glasses it's are It's not weird, function. Darren. That's what's exactly, weird exactly. is that you just told us about, like, the... Op- no, what's weird? What? What? No. People wear them all the time. God, yeah, I know, so I know, I know plenty of people who do the same thing. Who yeah. wear glasses with no prescriptions in them whatsoever. But anyways, Darren, yeah. back to the optometrist. There's no, nothing it's, else. The I was done. trying... Was, I was, there was yeah. Oh, I thought there was more. No, I was trying to make oh, a apologize. joke I'm to disturbed. derail the podcast, and it didn't it work. It did. Well, it worked. It did for it... seven fucking minutes. <laughs> it so, Destiny, anyways, topic. back to your thing, Bob's Burgers, and? Okay, so I've been watching Bob's Burgers. Oh, Toxic Trait. That... That's what you were saying. Oh, yeah. My new Toxic Trait is watching videos on TikTok of food that I can't eat. Oh god. Yeah, that 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 does sound like not. It's it's time. horrible. Yeah, like I watch it late at night and I'm just like, God, that looks delicious. And have you ever seen something so delicious you start salvating? Like yes. literally salvating? Like mm-hmm. all night. I'm just like <sighs> like that. Just oh, like man. sleeping in your sleep. Like <sighs> no, I'm not asleep because obviously I'm watching the TikTok. No, but like I just imagine it kind of just like pooling out pulling out under you and as you like, fall asleep. No, I don't you just said when I while sleep. you were awake, you're salivating. Do you drool when you sleep? That's gross because it probably gets like all in your beard. Yeah. See, there's a, there's a way that you can actually it prevent wasn't... that. When I went to the optometrist, my optometrist told me <laughs> that if you if you get this better this... be good, Darren. <laughs> Go ahead, finish. No. Okay. <laughs> Moving on, Matt. What have you been up to? Uh, I, you know, doing some things, playing some games, watching some stuff. I watched. We watched Squid Game. I liked most of it. I did not like the ending, but I won't spoil anything more than that. But guys, actually, um, something that that uh, oh, I, I want to talk about. I know about what really I did. Quick. I forgot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Matt. I'm sorry. I cut you off. But something that I did do is I went to go see the Transformers 1987 animated movie in theaters, and it was bomb. It was, was so it? awesome. Does because it hold up to it your was nostalgia so good. memory? Yeah, no, it does. And seeing it on like the big screen was dope. The only annoying thing is that like, of course, every time you go to a movie, there's this annoying row of fucking kids. But they weren't kids. They were adults. And they were like talking through the whole thing. So I had to get up and move all the way to the back of the theater. Because regardless if we've all seen it before, I want to enjoy it. Like, of even course. if I've seen it a hundred times, I want to enjoy yeah. it without you fucking making commentary. Yeah. But other than that, yeah. And if they're listening, fuck you guys. Jesus. Yep, that you reminds guys. me of a story. And it was when I was in the movie theater watching it chapter one. I bet you thought I was going to say optometrist, but I didn't. This is a real story this time. <laughs> I didn't think you were going to say that. I thought you were oh. going to tell a real story because you're speaking at a normal pace. Like, oh. Go ahead. Okay. No, when I went to see It Chapter One, there was a guy that must have, like, I swear to God, I saw this movie like 
uh, the day after it came out, but there was some guy who obviously must have seen it because he was actually quoting the movie as the lines were coming out. Like Pennywise wow. was delivering That's his incredible. final speech and he was like talking along with Pennywise out loud. I'm like, and he was sitting in the That's front so row. That's so rude. I don't understand why he loved that. This movie Nobody so much said anything to him? We were just confused because he knew the lines to the movie. I was impressed, sort of. <sighs> yeah, I mean, like, I... how impre- are you going to be impressed through the whole movie? I mean, at some point, it's not was... impressive anymore. It's just yeah. annoying. He stopped for lots of it. It was just like small, short periods. He was oh, just okay. like just quoting oh, okay. it. Yeah, that's why I pretty much only go to VIP theaters anymore. I did like a double, like double viewing of Shang Chi when it came out, like with the VIP theaters with you, Darren, and then with some family right mm-hmm. after at a normal theater. And like the normal theater people were like talking the entire time and shit. It was fucking annoying. I just but, can't do it. But very quickly, guys, before we get into the topic about fast food, almost halfway through the show, um, I decided to to hop onto Apple Podcasts. Uh, you know, I, when we had Joe on, you know, they were talking about how they were getting good reviews and stuff. And like mm-hmm. you guys also mentioned at the end of the episode with Sharpie. Um, mm-hmm. And we actually got some reviews, and uh, we just never knew. So, oh I'm, man, I'm gonna, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to shut those out real two quick. Two years later, um, and it's funny because uh, we got two on December 13th, 2019. Uh, one from Six Frames Jacob, who said that after listening to episode 12, I definitely enjoyed it. I haven't played Death Stranding. Funny enough, as we're talking about this. And I'm often confused by it, lol, but you made me feel like I was a part of the experience. I love it when playing a game makes you passionate passionate and frustrated at the same time. Keep going strong. I'll be listening to more. So Six Frames Jacob, if you're listening, thank you. Thank you so much. And so sorry that we did not check the comments ahead of time. Yeah. I had no idea. I thought we would get notified, but nothing. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, Thank you. For also December 13th from Sean3R. Uh, this podcast is important. It's about time that people address mental health through the lens of gaming and gamers. These people seem smart and cool. Look at us, guys. Uh, and listening to this makes me want to hang out with them. They have cool perspectives. Aww. Thanks, Sean. And now we're going to jump all the way to fucking March of 2021. Um, <laughs> from from Oh, my God. U. So S H Y X J D N space U. So if you're listening, thank you. Uh, your podcast is great. You make great and long podcasts. Also give lots of info and you're funny. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> but you know what? The, the other very weird thing about Apple podcasts is that I have to search for reviews by country. So those are the reviews from the U S from Canada. We have one from court Lalonde. Uh, it was a breath of fresh air. A great group of guys makes me feel like I'm listening to my best friends talk about games. Uh, Court mm-hmm. is actually on uh, the podcast with Assemble, and he has a podcast of his own. I've interacted with him on Twitter. So, Court, if you're listening, thank you so much. Super kind of you. Thanks for listening. Uh, yeah. And I don't want to go through all the other countries, um, but I'm going to give you – I want you each to tell me a country. I think and you I'm should look- go through the UK. Okay. Okay, Destiny picked the UK. The UK uh, – uh, hold on. That was United States. I misclicked. Uh, the UK, uh, there is nothing. Nice. Darren, pick a, us. Darren, pick a country. Brazil. Okay, Brazil. I knew you were going to fucking pick Brazil. I don't know why. How did you know? I just knew. Uh, we also know. have no reviews from Brazil. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that's it. South yeah, Korea. Right. Okay. South Korea. Because we all live on. there. We we'll all live there. And I want Russia. Okay. We'll check Russia as well. Uh, Korea. We have no like written reviews but we did get a five star rating so that's, that's something that's something okay. cool and you said this russia. is just what this show should be about like just <laughs> us you know. patting ourselves Russia's on the back give- the whole time yeah russia russia gave us no reviews either at all uh cool. let's check spain maybe we like check yeah, republic spain. i spain think we got a, a person from czech republic watching our Oh yeah! Oh my God! Real? Yeah, we did. You did. That's a long time ago. You said. Spain doesn't give a fuck. Neither does Czech Republic. Damn. Oh, okay. What other countries are there? Ireland or Scotland? There's quite a few. Um, <laughs> Ireland. I mean, like other ones that I think people would listen to. Scotland is evidently not a country. No, it's part of the UK. Oh yeah, it's part of the UK. Part well, of the United well, the Kingdom. more you learn, the more you know. Um, it's a region. Yeah. So let's check Switzerland. Nothing from Switzerland. Why do they South, do this by country? South Africa. Why wouldn't you just have it like yeah. listed all of them? South Africa. Nothing from South Africa. So oh, this is a weird if anybody's listening and you haven't hit us, 
if you haven't hit uh, us with a rating <laughs> yet, please do so. Please it helps do. the show a lot. Hop over to Apple Podcasts or whatever podcast choice that you're listening to. Hit us with the five stars. Send us some words, and maybe we'll read it uh, a couple years from now. Um, yeah. Wait, <laughs> so. does Google? We're on Google Play, right? We are. Uh, I can't. Do they find, not have? I, I can't find it. <laughs> That's what I mean. Everything is so segmented on their own websites that it's fi- it's tough to find this stuff sometime. Oh. Um, so- well, if you did leave us a comment and we didn't read it off tonight, it's because we can't find it, but we appreciate you. Yeah, just we appreciate say. you. Also, if you're wondering why you download an app from the Google Play Store and you make a bad review and nothing gets changed, turns out it's probably because the developers can't read your review because the Google Play Store is bad. There you go. There Jokes you go. That's probably it. Someone. Jokes on somebody. Yeah. But, you know, let's just check Germany real quick. Anything from Germany? Nothing from Germany. Germans, you disappoint me. Um, anyways, uh, I, I talked about at the top of the show that we're going to talk about fast food. Um, and, yeah, we're going to do that 17 minutes into the show. So let's let's I have a quick, let's have so a quick little. So sorry. No, it's okay. That's part of the fun. <laughs> um, let's let's because do Because we had like a 30-minute story about the, the eye doctor. Um, we're going to talk about our favorite fast foods and we're not going to necessarily specifically name, uh, you know, like the McDonald's Big Mac, for example, we're just going to talk about what is the fast food? Like when you think of fast food, what comes to mind? Um, I'm going to go first, uh, just to get ahead of the curve. Uh, cause uh, you know, we talked about, I know what you're going to fucking say. Oh, match pizza. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Fine, Destiny, you can go first. What's the what's the best fast food? Or what's the fast food? I don't know if it's the best fast food, but I think like the best party food, best after sex food. Yeah, no, pizza's just <laughs> pizza's good because you could have it in so many different ways, right? Like there's so many different varieties of toppings. Roll it up. You can you could roll it up. You, you could can dip make it a in burrito. ranch. You could yeah. make a pizza burrito. And it can come in different shapes, right? And That's they have true. pizza pockets, pizza bagels, like you can pizza fight anything, pizza flavored Pizza's chips. Versatile. It is pretty versatile. Okay. I see your point. Pizza's a pizza's a pretty strong opening. Yeah. Uh Darren, I'll let you go next. You're a bunch What's the of, fast food? You're a bunch of heathens. Heathens wow. with this undressed splayed open food toppings for the whole world to see <laughs> if you want a fast okay so food, what's yours big boy you need an elegant food something that has a container something that can hold together while pizza is served in a container hold on, hold on, let him make his point let him make his point let's see, where, let's see where he's going with this no i mean the f- container itself is the food but you must be delicate you must be a professional. Sounds There's like a skill to eating this stuff. food. There is a uh, a, a variety oh and a, a way of treating this food with so many fusions. And that food is the burger. Okay? The burger. It's so long-winded just to say the burger. <laughs> Go ahead. The burger Go ahead. is the perfect... Uh-huh fast food okay it has every topping you could ever want it's got the meat it's got the vegetables it's got some grains uh, th- that that's nice bun to hold the meat together and just take one right. satisfying bite because the problem with pizza is you'll take some bites and they'll be just toppings like all over the place you're not going to get every topping with every bite but with the burger every bite is the full flavor experience and the amount of variety and weird burgers that you can have you can throw some peanut Mm -hmm. butter on your burger and it's fine you can throw some noodles on your burger it's fine you ever seen the ramen burger with ramen noodles as buns you could say screw the buns i want lettuce as my buns how about a donut okay that's, How about that? That is not a bun, though. You, you, can you know what, that. Darren? Uh, I was I was with you when you started, and the more you talk, and then you the put more... like peanut butter on it. <laughs> you put donuts on it. You could have just left it at burger. No, 
But mm. you see, my point is that those creations have been made and they have succeeded despite the adversity of their normally questionable ingredients. They succeeded in being the burger. They succeeded in attracting people to eat those burgers. Have you seen donut on a pizza? No. Have you seen um, on a pizza? Yeah, there, there's no. dessert. There's, there's dessert. Yes, you have. In Korea, they have salad pizza. Yeah, yeah. And there's dessert pizza. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you know what? You both are wrong. Okay. No, we're not wrong. We just have you different opinions. Wrong. Okay, okay what, on, what did you pick? Hold on, wait. Darren had fingers up as if he had a point to finish before. Before I before I tell you why you're both wrong, I'll, I'll give I him, yield I'll my give time. An opportunity. Fair enough. Um, talking about diversity, talking about variety, talking about the amount of different ways that you can enjoy, and and you guys are getting all fancy with it, fucking different ver like different ingredients and different shit, and like uh, putting a donut with a peanut butter on a pizza. You guys need to simplify this. Sometimes the beauty of fast food is in its simplicity with the option of variety being present. That is why the French chicken fries? wing is the, the best fucking wing. fast food. You can have it breaded. You can have it unbreaded. Want the bone? Don't want the bone? You can go to Wild Wings or Buffalo Wild Wings and have like literally 40 different kinds of wings up to your choosing. It's simple. It's good. Pair as well. With, with some of your favorites, like pizzas and shit, it goes along well with so many different kinds of food. And in its simplicity is its beauty, is its deliciousness. You have a piece of pizza, you're like, okay, I'm going to get a pizza. I'm going to have like two or three slices maybe. You get a burger, you're like, I'm going to have one burger. You want to feel like a fucking giant? You're like, I'm going to have 10 chicken wings. I'm going to have a vast amount of things. Chicken wings are the fucking fast food. I would... I would... Wager to say that no, because what if you're <laughs> vegan? <laughs> then and you and you don't eat chicken. Then you can have like cauliflower chicken bites and that's stuff. That's not like the those... same thing, but that's not the same thing. Okay, but the same thing if you're vegan, you can't eat pizza either. Yes, you can. What do you mean? If you're you vegan, can't eat it? yes, eggs vegan and pizza. shit in the dough. There, there is, is yes, vegan pizza. pizza. But that changes the fundamental thing of what pizza mm. is. Same way that no, you it's can not. change what chicken no, is. No, no. I, I, yeah. Okay. No. I, yeah. I would like to. <laughs> no. I would like to bridge the divide here. And I actually would like to point out in, in Matt's defense that when you're having you. a chicken wing, I don't think mm -hmm. the chicken is the main attraction to that wing. The main attraction right. is the sauce. The sauce makes the chicken what? wing. Because chicken, to be honest, is kind of a tasteless meat. There's not much taste to it. So I, I think that if you had, I've had vegan chicken nuggets. I've had vegan chicken wings before. And honestly, mm -hmm. when you See? sauce them right, you can't mm -hmm. tell the difference. Exactly. No. No. I don't like think of having chicken wings for the sauce. I want chicken when I'm thinking. I want chicken, chicken wing wings. wing with no sauce. Um, I'm black. We season everything. I don't know, but that's not a thing in my culture. So, what? No, no. We you can but ask no, any fair, black person. No, but to be fair, like you don't have to. I don't. Okay, Darren, I understand your point, and I agree to some extent. But I also think there is some there's some beauty in a very well seasoned just just chicken wing. I think yeah. that I think there's merit in that as well. But that's what I'm saying. You have variety. You have different ways of enjoying the product. But listen, we've all said that. We've all said that with our fast yes, food, but we I'm all have right. varieties. No, you're not right because you're basically saying the same thing we said, but with a different no. food. Yes, you are. I disagree. Yes, you are. Listen. Think about you it. Like, you like, you guys being all fancy, blah, blah, to, blah. But look at have, the sauces you could have with the chicken wings. Look think at the about, variety. Think about the container of the food, okay? The oh chicken wing, you have a handle, right? You have a way to eat and enjoy without ever worrying. I agree. You do have a handle, right? Yeah. If it's mm -hmm. if it's not boneless. But if it's boneless, then you then don't you have a handle. It, then, it, it, the same way you would just eat pizza, right? With your hands. But if you, if listen, if the chicken wing is boneless, all you have to do is hold up the tray and put your face in it 
and you're bound to come up with one. It's bobbing for chicken. You know what? Your science you you lost. You think I'm right. You you lost already. <laughs> The last thing you just said. Now, I feel nothing wrong with that. It's Halloween. Listen, coming up. chicken wings are delicious. They are delicious. They're delicious. I think they're delicious. I think burgers are delicious. I just think pizza is the better one out of burgers. And like, if you're throwing a party, people don't order a bunch of burgers. They do order chicken wings, right? I'm saying they they do order chicken wings, right? But they also order pizza. How about this? How about chicken and pizza wings are the best? Pizza wings? <laughs> chicken. Oh, yeah. Pizza wings. <laughs> Let's just put it together. Pizza wings. Pizza wings. Pizza wings. Darren, Darren, where do you land on this? You could put chicken wings on your burger instead of the peanut butter. Well, I was going to say, the only way to improve a nice buffalo chicken wing is to take that buffalo chicken, put it between a bun... And turn it into a chicken burger because I think just a buffalo chicken the, burger, a buffalo chicken burger, having the bread with that improves the experience. And also, Destiny, I would like to point out to you uh, a fatal oh flaw God. in your argument. Um, All right, a I fatal flaw. We'll, 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 we'll sink, <laughs> okay. we'll sink you. Um, mm-hmm. I, I completely agree that if I was going to go to a party, I would not order a bunch of burgers, I would order a pizza and some wings. However, this is not a debate yeah, it's expensive. of the, the best party food. This is a debate of the best fast food. And what is faster than a burger? You mean by time? Like speed? Is that what you're talking about? Maybe. That's, that's, that's what you're going to use to sink my argument? Listen, I think it was no, quite no, the blow. Because depending when, depending on where you get your burger depends on <laughs> the time it takes to cook it. So, But think about it this way. What other food is there? And it's not really a thing anymore because obviously they realize the flaw in their plan, which is also why, Destiny, I'm going to sink your ship. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, when you go to when you get a burger, when you get a wings, you understand that you're probably going to get it soon, right? Fucking pizza places are like, you it know what? Dip- we have to no. time that we no thing. Hold no. on, we oh, let me finish, let me finish. We yeah. have to time this shit. If you don't get it in thirty minutes, it's free. Chicken wings are not up there being like, oh, I wonder if I'm gonna get this today. Nobody ever thinks that when they order pizza. Nobody's ever sitting I do. there wondering if they're gonna. You can go pick up your fucking pizza. <laughs> you don't have to wait for it to be delivered. But you still have to but order what? it in advance. <laughs> and wait for it to You're be right. made. You're right. You do have to order it in advance and wait for it to be made. But I would rather have my food hot and ready made fresh than something that had been cooked up for a while and sitting under a heat lamp to be served to me right away. But hold on, no, no. If, you, if, you, if you go to a pizza place, they literally have pizzas that are cooked already sitting under heat lamps if you were no, to purchase a slice. No, that's because those are pizzas that somebody ordered and if they don't get there in time, that's on them. Listen, all I'm saying is that nobody's going to walk around. They don't have like, the thing about it, when you think of like, okay, let me, let me ask one more question to round out yeah. this conversation. And then, you know what, when this episode comes out, I'm going to run a Twitter poll and we'll let the people decide, okay? Okay, let's ah, I, I want you, I want you guys finest. I, wa- I want you guys to close your <laughs> eyes. I want you to close your eyes, okay? okay. I'm going to paint you a picture and I want you to answer. And I want you to take yourselves outside of this debate. I want you to take yourselves out of this, the confines of this argument for the simple fact of that. Close your eyes, okay? When you think of the words food eating competition, what food comes to mind? What food are they eating in this food eating competition? Don't they have hot dogs? All kinds no, of no, 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 yeah, no. Yeah, I was which, thinking which, hot dogs too, because they go down easy. It's hot dogs usually. It's hot dogs. Eyes open. You lose. Let's take this part out of the podcast <laughs> no. uh, because, as I thought about it, you guys are right. Uh, I set myself up for failure, um, and you were, and you were right in that respect. Uh, I admit my fault, but. Okay, can I, I, I say something really quick? Okay, last thing. Really quick. This is this is what I'm going to say. Out of all the fast food places, and this is going to basically sink Matt, there are more burger places and pizza places than there are chicken wing places. 
So I would I will say that I think pizza and burgers kind of kind of beat out chicken wings. Okay, okay, but to counter your argument very quickly, if you go to a pizza place, you yeah. can get chicken wings. Depends on the pizza place. Very, all, I would say, I would wait, I would wager 95% of pizza places also sell wings. You don't go to a no. pizza. Yeah. I, if you're thinking, no, if you're thinking of like fast food chains, like Pizza Hut, Little Caesars, yeah. 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 But like, um, like a authentic, like Italian place, no. They don't yeah. always sell chicken wings. No, the ones by don't. my place do. San Francesco's Pizza. First of all, is Fra- San Francesco's Pizza um, a chain? No. It's just one? It's I don't one. know. I don't know either. Okay, well, moving All on. Right. <laughs> Anyways, but you don't go to a chicken wing place and then also get a pizza. The chicken wings are the additive to your base meal. Anyways, I will let the but people they decide. Do, no, you, you can't be like no, doing no, that no, and then no, be no, like no, anyways. No. You just and like say the little was... things and then like cut it off. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. But they're uh, going for the pizza, okay? Listen, so if listen. they go to a pizza place, no, shut up. If they go to a pizza place, they're going for the pizza and then maybe they'll get a side that's chicken okay, wings. But, but they, didn't talking... go, they didn't go to the pizza place for the chicken wings. But if we're talking about sheer amount of places that order that specific food, then Berdarin, in his defense, to not sink his ship, to maybe rise him up, there are more burger places than there are pizza places. I already said that Darren was already up there. So what are you trying to do right now? Chaos. (laughs) All right. I, like I said, this episode is going to come out. I'm going to make a Twitter poll and, and we will let the people decide as, as to which, you know, fast food is the fast Viva food. Viva la resistance. Viva la chicken wing stance. <laughs> no. um, but we have a couple announcements that we're going to make to turn things to a, a, a slightly more serious route for a second. And, and yes. no, we're not fucking around. Um, Destiny, let's start with you first. Can you announce? Well, let's what start with Darren first. Sorry, okay. I didn't mean to like do that, but I just felt yeah. let's start with Darren first. Okay, let's start with Darren first. Okay. Yeah. Unfortunately, and I, I, this is, this is, I swear to God, to everyone listening, this is not another optometrist story. This is, this is a real thing. Uh, school has been very, very busy for me. Uh, and my school year last year was affected by COVID. So this year I have to make up a lot of work that I missed. So unfortunately, I will be stepping away from the podcast for the what are you laughing at <laughs> what an optometrist it's not funny it's... i'm sorry <laughs> no i appreciate <laughs> i appreciate the awkward laughter this is the kind of world that i want to create a world where you don't know whether to be serious or to laugh um no, yeah it's no i'm serious i'm going to be stepping away serious. for a bit i am not leaving the podcast permanently and i may show up here and there every once in a while but for the time being i'm stepping away but i will be back and i'm looking forward to being back because i i need to have more of these absolutely dumb conversations in the future <laughs> darren darren i i hope you know that when you make your official return destiny and i are going to start coming up with trivia for all the shows that you're going to miss <laughs> okay <laughs> To test to your make knowledge, sure you're to make sure you're fucking listening, because we're going yep. to miss you, and we understand why you need to take time, which is for school. It totally makes sense. Do your thing. We support you. But when you come back, you bet. I don't, and I don't give a fuck if it's like the week before class starts, and you're like binging all the episodes to catch up for <laughs> Professor Matt and Destiny's class. Okay, Mestiny. Um, <laughs> um, but we're going Dat. to miss you very much. Thanks, Professor Dat. Um, okay. Take your time, do your thing, and we'll be here when you're ready. Yeah, I'll be back. We will miss you. Everybody will miss you, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and I will miss you. But I know you got to go out there, yeah, and make that money for our future. Hell yeah, hell yeah, uh, yeah. I'm gonna do it, and then, like okay, I said, anyways. I'll be back. Random episodes, whatever. We'll see how it goes. But to Destiny Matt is like for your over announcement. So excited. All right, so my announcement is like it's not sad. It's, it's actually it a good really one. cool. We are mm-hmm. going. It's a good one. We're going to be celebrating Black History Month in the UK. So I know for a lot of our Canadian listeners and our US listeners, 
you might be like black history month i thought that was in february because the u.s gave us the shortest fucking month of the year but in the uk it's actually the month of october so please stay tuned we will have some special guests on who are either uk developers content creators and they're all people of color so i'm excited about that and you should be excited too so Please stay tuned. We will be posting those videos starting next week, every Thursday. And yes. I'll be listening. So actually, for when sure. this goes live, yeah, when yeah. this goes live, it'll be Monday. So the first episode will actually be going up Thursday, meaning that for the month of October, bonus stage is taking a break as we focus on making the uh, Black History Month dedicated content. So for the month of October, this will be the last bonus stage for about a month as we focus in on that. Those episodes will be going live on Thursday. So Wednesdays you'll have the normal podcast. Thursdays, you're going to have the Black History Month podcast uh, for the month of October, which is dope as shit. And we're excited to yeah. do it. And we're going to have a yes. lot of fun with it. Very excited. Uh, and we're, like I said, I'm going to start taking notes every show that Darren misses because this is the world that we're going to put him in when he returns. I uh, wouldn't have it any other way. So, guys, thank you so, so much. Get ready. We have a lot of stuff coming. And uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. And, guys, please, please, please hit us with those five-star ratings on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen to us. Even if you don't use this, you don't use Apple Podcasts, head over there and just drop us a thing. It only takes a couple minutes. Yeah, just drop That's- us and subscribe. We're trying yeah. to get our subscribers up. Tell your friends, tell your family. Like, all they have to do is hit the subscribe. Just. Yeah. Exactly. So please, please, please do that. It helps us a lot in terms of discoverability and helping new people find our podcast. So that you know, two years from now, when we look back at the reviews, we'll have more to talk about. Thank I think you so we much actually for listening. Got, sorry, I think we actually mm. got like a jump in followers. Or I'm just dumb. I'm probably just dumb. But I thought we did. <laughs> like I thought we were at like 260. Were we at 260 something? On YouTube? No, we're at like yeah. 280 now. No, I know we're at 280 now. But were we? Never mind. It after matter. after the hundredth episode, we were at like two sixty. Yeah, so we've been we've been we've been going well. It's been going well. Slow and steady. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for checking in with us. Bye, see, Darren. Darren, we'll see you very, very soon. <laughs> we'll see you on the that next one. Good. Remember, Vote Viva pizza. la Chicken Wing Stars. Pizza, 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 pizza. Peace out. Later. Bye.